Quen has released the Quen 2 series of models. It is being said that after Lama 3, this is one of the most impactful model release. Quen 2 seems to have really thrown it out of the park with plethora of models. If you go to the Hugging Face repo of Quen, you will see that they have released 72 billion models, both in Instruct and um, the base one. Also, 7 billion, 57 billion then 1.5 billion, 0.5 billion, which is great for mobile by the way. And then also in different formats like AWQ, int A, TGUF, and then it goes on and on. Amazing stuff. Let me give you a quick overview of what this Quen2 models is, and then we will be installing this 1.5 billion locally in full on our local system. Quen2 is, as I said, seems to be quite impactful open LLM release since Meta Lama 3. And because this is one of the coolest multilingual model family, which uh, I have seen so far. Of course, there are a few others too, but it has already outperformed Lama 3 on various benchmarks. It comes in five sizes, as I just showed you, and it has been trained in 29 languages, achieving state-of-the-art performance across academic and chat benchmarks. Not all of them, but four models in this have come with Apache 2 license. So the context for 0.5 billion is 32K and also 1.5 billion, the one which you see in your screen, it has a context length of 32K. Also for 57 billion mixture of expert, it has 64K context. For 7 billion and 72 billion, it has 128K context. In the future, I will also be covering all of those in detail. We will be installing them locally. But for the purpose of this video, let's get this one to 1.5 billion installed on our local system. And then we will see how it performs on various testing questions. The system which I'm going to use for this video and the GPU has been sponsored by Mast Compute. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm going to put a coupon code which will give you further 50% discount on an already affordable offering. So do check them out. Very flexible, no lock-in contract. Let me now take you to my local system where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and then this is the GPU card. Uh, courtesy to Mast Compute on NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I also have Conda installed which will keep everything nice and simple. So let me clear the screen. Let's first create the Conda environment which is going to make sure that everything is nice and simple. I'm just going to use a Conda create command. I'm just going to call it Quen2 and then I will be using Python 3.11 with Y switch so that it would prompt me for confirmation. It doesn't take long, should be done any second now. And that is done. Let's activate Conda Squen2. That is done. You can see on the left hand side. Let's clear the screen. And now let's install a few of the prerequisites. First, let's install PyTorch because we would be needing it. it shouldn't take too long. Torch is installed. Let me clear the screen. For the next one, I would be installing Transformers, but from the source. The reason why I'm doing it is that you would need the latest version of Transformers, which should be equal to or greater than Transformers 4.37, because the Quen2, which was just released few hours ago, is only present in that Transformer version and not anywhere else. So let's wait for it to get installed. And that is done. Let's quickly check the Transformers version because that is the most important thing here. There you go. So you see I have Transformers 4.42. Okay. Let's clear the screen. Let me fire up my Python interpreter. And then we are going to import the Transformers library. And let's set the device to CUDA. Because I have one GPU which I showed you. Let's download the model. And we are simply using this auto model for causal LM. And you can see that I am using this coin too. Okay, so it says that we would also need to install this accelerate. Let's quickly do that. I will keep it running so that you would also be able to troubleshoot with me. So let's get it installed. That is let's clear it. And then let's fire it up, fire it up again. 
and let me download let me import that library again that is done and now let's download the model again and this time it should work so you see that this time it is downloading the model there is only one tensor which is just three gig of size how good is that so you don't need really 48 gb of vram for this you can even run it for 8 gb vram so let's wait for it to download and then we will proceed further model is downloaded successfully let's grab the tokenizer and that is done too and special tokens have been added now let's proceed further let's um give it a prompt and then we will see how it performs so you see here i have just given it a prompt that write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty and i have put it in the message template let's send it to tokenizer to convert this text into tokens that is also done and now let's send this to tokenizer Tokenizer is done. Let's ask the model to generate the output. Let's wait for it. You can ignore this warning. It's just about deprecated packages. You don't take too long. That is done. And now let's grab the generated IDs. That is also done. And now let's get the response from the tokenizer decode function. And now let's print it out and we will see how the response looks like there you go so first nopes it says not beauty beautifully second is wrong third fourth fifth is wrong yes sixth one is correct it ends with beauty seventh is also good this is also no this is not good so you see this question seems like an easy one but it's really hard in practice i can tell you very few models get it right and they say that this um, model has beaten llama 3 i'm not sure if this one or any other one we will also be testing those bigger models but this uh, smaller one 1.5 billion failed the first test let's clear it and now let me ask it another question in the next one i am asking it to tell me a funny joke from greek mythology and i'm just going to paste all the pipeline here it is going to see you see so it says sure here is one why did the greek god of love refuse to go to the party because he was already in love with his wife okay so i will let you decide whether it is funny or not but at least it passed the test it generated the joke let's try out one math question so it's simple math equation which i have put it in here the answer, correct answer is 20 let's see if model is able to do it nope model says for model says 14 which is totally wrong so math is not good enough for this model let's clear the screen and now let's say, let's ask it a reasoning question now in this one i am asking it that if we lay five shirts out in the sun and it takes four hours to dry how long would 20 shirts take to dry explain your reasoning step by step let me pass it through pipeline let's wait for it to come back there you go so you see the response looks quite good to me it says to determine how long it would take for 20 shirts to dry and then it is just going step by step assume that drying time is directly proportional to this calculate the drying rate it has come up with the formula and then it is saying so it would take four hours for 20 shirts amazing i think reasoning is really good that is what i'm finding about it okay let's ask it a coding question in this one i am asking it to generate a c plus plus class representing a basic calculator so let's see if it is able to do that let's wait for it to come back there you go so if i just scroll a little bit above so this is the c plus plus library io stream basic class this is a class private and then amazing so yeah coding is really looks good to me amazing stuff i believe uh, as was expected i think this model quite good very impressed by it reasoning is not that good but otherwise um, other benchmarks really i think writing and that sort of thing is very good look at the size of the model 1.5 billion instruct fine tune so that's it guys let me know what do you think i will drop the link to this uh, model in the video's description and 
if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching